Good morning. This is day 31. The city had no need of the sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it. Revelation chapter 21 verse 23. The ultimate real estate written by M. R. Dahan II. The University of Colorado's Fisk Planetarium needed money, so its director dreamed up a comical fundraiser. He printed brochures that offered 1,000 acre lots on the planet Mars for only $20. The flyer read, this land steel features pink skies, unlimited rock gardens, and not one, but two moons. So peaceful, quiet, and romantic. Even the natives are friendly. At one-sixth the gravity of Earth, your golf game will improve immensely. Drives will be six times longer. Mars will provide a world of adventure for the entire family. The gag was surprisingly successful. People across the country sent in $20 for a deed, for space flight insurance, and for a simulated sample of red Martian soil. If this story catches your imagination, then think about the ultimate real estate, heaven. As an expression of his love, God promised it to all who trust Jesus as their savior. It's a real place where the Lord himself will live with his people. There will be no tears, pain, or death and the occupants will rejoice forever in God's everlasting goodness. How reassuring to know that God's free offer of a home in heaven is not a promotional gimmick. It may sound too good to be true, but it isn't. It's too good to pass up. Contemplating the realms on high, far beyond the vaulted sky. Tis joy to know that through his grace, we shall rejoice to see his face. A quote this morning reads, God opens the door of heaven to all who open their hearts to him. End quote.